unveiling the mystery, for Pete's sake. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English expressions. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase, for Pete's sake. You might have heard it in movies, TV shows, or even in casual conversations. But what does it actually mean, and where does it come from? Let's unravel this mystery together. For Pete's sake, is an expression used to show frustration, exasperation, or annoyance. It's similar to saying, oh, come on, or give me a break. But why use Pete's name? Well, it's actually a way to avoid saying something more offensive. It's a polite or mild oath, similar to saying, for goodness sake, or for heaven's sake. The exact origin of for Pete's sake is a bit of a mystery. However, it's believed to have originated in the early 20th century. Pete in the phrase might refer to Saint Peter, a figure in Christianity. Using Pete instead of directly referring to a religious figure or using a stronger word makes the phrase more acceptable in polite conversation. You can use for Pete's sake in situations where you might feel a bit annoyed or frustrated but want to express those feelings politely. For example, when someone keeps making the same mistake, for Pete's sake, be careful with the reports next time. When you are in disbelief or surprised, for Pete's sake, I didn't expect the party to be this huge. Remember, it's a mild expression and generally won't offend anyone, but it's still best used in informal situations. Let's see how, for Pete's sake, fits into everyday sentences. For Pete's sake, can you please turn down the music? I'm trying to study, I locked my keys in the car. For Pete's sake, what am I going to do now? And there you have it, folks. For Pete's sake, is a polite expression you can use to vent a little frustration without crossing the line. It adds a bit of flavor to your language and can be quite handy in various social situations. We hope you found this video helpful. For Pete's sake, don't forget to practice using it in your conversations. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.